Hey, it's X-Ray Bob back, and today's topic is rectifiers. And you see up here the symbol we're going to use for a rectifier, and here you see a bridge circuit, which uh, is the last thing that is in our circuit before the X-Ray tube. So the last thing uh, just ahead of the X-Ray tube is the rectifier circuit, which converts AC to a high voltage DC, well, converts high voltage AC to DC. So uh, what is a rectifier? They, you can think of them as a, a traffic cop, um, and they only allow current to flow in one direction. Um, so you can think of it as they can say stop, or they can say, okay, you're allowed to flow in this direction. All right. So um, they convert AC voltage from the high voltage transformer, so we stepped up the voltage to high voltage, and now we're going to convert it into this pulsating DC that we're going to use to feed our X-ray tube. So here's a little circuit. We've got our auto transformer that we're letting, we're dialing in the exact KV. Then we're going to step up that exact KV, maybe a 500x or a thousand x. So now 80 KV goes to 80,000. No, 80 volts goes to 80,000 volts, and we're going to feed that through what's shown here as a rectifier circuit, and that's going to be the last thing that feeds our X-ray tube. So a rectifier is an electronic device, lets direction flow in, electrons to flow in one direction. You can think of it as a gate. Um, and we also refer to them as diodes, because like everything, we give them four or five names just to keep you confused. Um, they used to be these big old vacuum cubes, now tubes. Now they're these little uh, uh, integrated circuit devices. All right, and here are the two rules. All right, I, I'm teaching you this because Traditionally, I think students come into the registry and when they get a circuit diagram of a bridge circuit, they, 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 they say, I'll, t I'll get that one wrong. But I think it's really easy with my two rules for you to get those right on your registry. So rule one is electrons are optimistic. They're always going to flow from the negative to the positive. You can think of it as them rolling down a mountain or swimming with the current. They can't swim upstream. Rule number two is they're all going to, always going to flow only in the opposite direction of the arrow. So these electrical signals are all written for electrical engineers, and they think of current as positive charges moving along. And we're all physicists, and we know that current is really electrical negative charges moving uh, in the opposite direction than what our electrical engineer counterparts think. So the symbol shows an arrow going this way, which is indicative of, a, of the current, which is made up positive charges moving, and in reality, uh, electrons are going to move opposite this arrow, if at all, or they're going to be shut, but they won't be able to get through that gate. All right, so we've got AC voltage, which is this sine wave. We'll talk about a positive half wave, a negative half wave, a positive half wave, a negative half wave, and that's what's coming into our rectifier circuit. Uh, we can think of it as unrectified voltage, and that's our sine wave, and that's what we get with no diodes, or if we're just looking at the signal off of the wall. So if we have a two-diode system, and here's our high-voltage transformer, so we're stepping it up, let's see what hap how we get from this input signal to uh, this pulsating signal that hits the tube. So first, during the positive half of the cycle, when we're going up here, and up here, not in this negative half, what happens? So when we're in this positive half cycle, whoa, we went a couple steps there. In this positive half cycle, we've got a positive signal here, uh, positive voltage here and negative voltage here, and rule one says electrons always flow from negative to positive. So let's start at the negative and draw our little electrons flowing, and they encounter a diode. And the first thing is, can they go through? If the diode is pointing opposite them, they can go through. So we'll give it a little happy face, it moves on its happy way, it goes to the tube, it goes across the tube, comes out the tube, hits another diode, again it's going opposite the direction of the diode's arrow, so it's allowed to go through, and that's how for these two positive inputs, two positive half waves, we can strip out these two positive high voltage uh, waves. So during the negative half of the cycle, what happens here when the signal is below zero and we've got our negative voltage here and our positive voltage here, we'll start at the negative, we come out, we hit this diode, and boom, we're shut down. We cannot flow in that direction because we are trying to go in the direction of the arrow. So we don't get anything during that negative half cycle, and that's how for a two-diode system it would convert this 
AC signal into this higher voltage AC signal because it would and it, we call that half wave rectification. So in a four diode system, again we have our positive cycle. We'll start here negative. We come along. We can go against this diode, but we can't go with that diode. So we'll go this blue path. We'll go through the tube, and we come here, and we can we can keep heading to the positive. We can go against this diode and complete the circuit. But there's nothing saying go this way because that's heading towards negative, and there's no the electron's not going to go towards negative. It's not attracted towards negative. All right, and then when we flip and go to the negative half cycle again, we'll start up here. The electron can travel along here. It can't go up here because that goes with the arrow, but it can go through here again through that gate. It'll come out here, go through the tube, it can come out of the tube, and it and here it could could it go up. No, there's nothing positive making it go up. But it can go down here where some positive is, and it can go through that arrow and complete that cycle. So let's get to the problems you might face. You might get something like this. Which rectifiers will the electrons flow through in this half cycle? And they'll have to give you a positive and negative so you know which half cycle. And we'll follow our rules. Rule one, start where you're going to go from negative to positive. So we start here at the most negative, and we go up, and we say, wait a second, I'm going with the arrow. Eh. No way. We can go down, we can go against the arrow, and get a happy face, go through that diode, hit this junction. We can go up and go through that arrow. No, we can't go through that arrow. We can go to the right there, and we can head through the tube, and we come out of the tube, and we, we there's no reason to go down. There's nothing positive down there. It's just more negative stuff. We're not going to run uphill, but we can make we can turn and go. We can go this way. And can we go through that arrow? Sure we can. Happy face. So A and D are the circuits we would go through um, in that half cycle. If they flipped it around, we'd start up top of the negative. We wouldn't go through that arrow. We could go through that diode. We could flip on through the tube, but we wouldn't go up here. There's nothing positive. We could come down there. We wouldn't go through this guy because, oh no, we would go, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, we, we could go through that guy and out, but we can't go through D because it's the same direction. All right, so that's how you would do those two problems. The other way you might get this problem is reformatted this way, um, and they'd show you it like this. They'd say, in this circuit, which rectifiers will the electrons flow through during this half cycle? So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start up here at the most negative, at the negative sign. We'll draw our arrow, and we'll say, OK, can I go through D? No, it matches the arrows match, so I can't go through it. Can I go through A? Yes, I'm going against the arrow. And then I'll turn here. Can I go through B? Nope, those arrows match. But I can go down here, and I can go through the tube. Up, oh, Bob's in the way. I can come up. I can come up. And now I've got two places to go. One place is through C against the arrow, so I can go there and on and head towards the positive. But would I go back towards D? I wouldn't go back towards D because that's going uphill. That's going to the negative, and I only head towards the positive. So I would answer that question with A and C. All right, so those are the two formats you're going to face for these nasty, scary bridge circuit uh, questions. And the truth is, if you know those two rules, they're actually going to make you smile when you see them on the registry because you are going to be able to waltz your way through that circuit and pick out which diodes uh, the electrons are traveling through. Okay, again, I've learned everything through my teachers and through uh, Dr. Bouchong and Quinn Carroll's excellent books, and I rip them off all the time and I steal their pictures, so I should definitely give them credit. Okay, this is X-Ray Bob signing out. Later.